Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for being here. I am super happy that this is coming along great. And yeah, let's get started on putting the things into the house that we actually need. First of all, let's get rid of all the stuff that's in my inventory. Well, at least place it in the house. lot of stuff so yeah it's gonna take me a little bit um we have to figure out whose room is gonna be whose Okay. It'd be nice if I could put a full size bed in each room, but I doubt that. I feel like they do deserve full size beds though. Well, my friends are, they're all pretty tall. <laughs> so to me, I'm like short. I'm like the shortest one out of the group. It's pretty funny. I know a lot of tall people. <laughs> I don't need this thing. I mean, if I want to put the trees in them, I guess I could, I don't know. Keep them until I figure out what I want to do with it. I know I'm putting a pool back here. So where I put these plants for you matter. There's a tree here. Yep. Alright, so this garden is gonna be pretty interesting. try to have it I just want to make sure that they're able to access everything that they need to all right so 
So as long as I can get behind it, it's my biggest thing. I think I can. I have to test that theory. But I think that they are able to still use the render continues. Which is all I really wanted. And yeah. Alright, that's fine with me. And then my trees. I could put the trees. Yeah. Put the trees here. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to start putting Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and just start putting the plants Lemon Pomegranate. Apple. I do not play sports. Um, sports aren't really my thing. The only sports I really... What the hell? Where are all my trees? Where are the rest of my trees? Oh no. Some of them didn't make it. Oh, that's just such a pain. What? How is that even possible? The, all the plants didn't make it either. Oh, that's a pain. That's a pain. That's really annoying. Okay, um... No, I do not play. No, okay, what am I doing here? Oh, money. Mushroom. Alright, the mushroom plant is just it's gonna be one of those strange plants that's kind of just hanging out. That just hangs out. Um, it's just gonna be there. <laughs> but that's just how we do mushroom plants. So we'll have to figure out what I'm missing from the garden. Um, spinach plant can go here. We'll do all the herbs in that. Oh no. Parsley can go here. I got a lot of stuff in my inventory guys, it's gonna take a while. Um, basil plants. And sage. Okay, so... Then we're gonna put the carrot plant here. I think that that is a great idea. Um, I did think about doing something like that because I do go to conventions and events. Um, so I thought about, you know, posting and letting people know, hey, I'm going to be at this convention and if anyone wants to stop and say hi or meet up in person or, you know, you know, just 
hang. <laughs> that's cool too. I think that's a pretty cool thing. Um, yeah, getting to know your subscribers, I think, is a great thing. You know, you guys have been with me for so long. And we're like family. <laughs> so, uh, absolutely. And it's also a good way to thank everyone for the love and support in person. So I think that's awesome. That is true. That is true. You definitely have to be careful. Um, you know. Just you know, hire a bodyguard, it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine, right? Just get yourself a nice bodyguard. Be okay. Yeah, I mean, next thing you know, you'll be kidnapped or something. You definitely do have to be careful. <laughs> I, will, I will say that. It's definitely... Definitely something you have to watch out for. Strawberries. Dragon fruit. I don't know, like I said, I go to conventions, so I usually go cosplaying, uh, so that'd be kind of fun. Uh, if I were to meet up with my subscribers, I would say you guys can meet me at uh, cosplay conventions, uh, you know, Comic Con, that kind of thing. Everybody's having, you know, it's a really chill environment, everybody's having fun, and it's nice. Uh, there's drinks. <laughs> And there's anime, and there's comic books, and there's manga, and there's cosplay costumes, and there's contests, and games, and it's a, it's a blast. I go multiple times a year to different locations um, when I'm, you know, able to afford all that. Obviously this year everything was pretty much cancelled, so I don't know if I'll be doing anything like that this year. Uh, I usually go to a convention I've been going to for a couple of years now. Um, in Tennessee and that's like that's forever far from me that's nine hour drive for me I go to that convention um, but they will not be doing it this year I guess <laughs> it's in October so I mean hopefully if this coronavirus just decides to leave tomorrow then they're able to get everything together and actually do that convention this year hopefully Hopefully that's the case and this stuff goes away before October because I usually have big plans in October. I'm usually extremely busy. I'm usually having a lot of fun. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I cosplay. It's fun. I have so much fun with it. I will literally sit in a hotel room with my friends, you know, doing hair and makeup and checking costume stuff and you know, it's great. It's fun. And then to see everybody else's um, cosplays and then to talk to different artists, because I'm also an artist, so it's a lot of creative people I get to meet and network with. You know, if I'm like, hey, how did you make that on your costume? They're able to tell me, oh, I used this method or I actually made up this and this is this. Like, it's really cool. You get to get in touch with a lot of creative people who make their own stuff, which is really cool. Um, it's It's pretty fun. I really hope that this stupid pandemic just leaves because <laughs> it's, it's been ruining my entire year and I'm not happy about it. You know, it's been, it's been pretty tough. It's been changing everything. Like, I just want things to go back to normal. I never thought that I would be so content with having the normal BS that I used to have versus like now, you know? It's like I miss my nor I miss my old problems, honestly. What is this? Birds of praise don't We're missing a planter, aren't we? Oh no, so we're I know famous people. Um I don't know if I'd say famous. 
I feel like famous is is a very interesting phrase because famous could mean they're well known throughout the city they live in. Um, famous could also mean they're well known through the world. Um, famous could be celebrity. Famous could be YouTuber. Famous could be, you know, famous could be me at the karaoke bar that I used to go to all the time. Like it's, you know, which unfortunately because of COVID, um, I saw a flyer there because I did go past that area that said they will be, you know, doing some massive construction. I really hope they do not close down. I will be super sad. That's my favorite karaoke spot. And not to mention that area has like the best food. So <laughs> karaoke and awesome Korean barbecue. Can't, can't say no. And of course drinks. <laughs> so yeah. Um, yeah, this COVID stuff, man, it's been a, uh, it's been terrorizing my city. Honestly, I don't like it. There's a lot of businesses who will not survive this. And me living in the city my entire life, I'm used to those places. So I can't imagine like, you know, if my karaoke place does go under, what am I going to do? You know? And it's really sad for the business owners because like I'm tight with the business owners, you know, I, you know, I make, I make a standing impression when I go places. So I usually become friends with whoever owns the place just because I go there so much. So yeah, that'll definitely be something that, uh, I feel, uh, we'll have to look into. I really hope that the businesses that are being affected by COVID can recover from this because there are some really great spots in the city that are just small businesses, but they're just great experiences overall. Like businesses don't have to be very large to be successful. Like you can be successful just by having an underground like karaoke place uh, under a Korean barbecue restaurant. Like that's amazing. Like, I love that versus going to, oh, it's a rooftop club bar place that has like 30 floors for no reason for one i don't like stairs <laughs> so i'm not about to walk up 30 flights of stairs to get to the roof to be blown off of it possibly because we are in the city so we have skyscraper type buildings so the wind can get pretty harsh the higher you're up uh but yeah i'm i'm into like the cute little places the places that most people don't know about but now know about because I refer everyone to all the places I go to. Because <laughs> I'll post pictures on Facebook or something and people are like, where were you? And I'm like, oh, I was at this place here. And they're like, I never knew that existed. And I'm like, well, now you do. Take some friends and go, you know? And businesses have literally like, you know, wrote me cards to thank me for that and, you know, offered me discounts and you know, I'm just like, you know, I don't need anything special. You guys are great. I refer great places. If I have a good experience, I will definitely write you guys a review. It's just what I do. Just being nice. I think everyone should do that. Uh, yeah, I have a Facebook. I don't have anything else. I don't have Instagram. I don't have, what is it, Twitter? <laughs> I didn't think about it. I don't have Twitter. I don't have Instagram. I don't have snapchat I don't, I don't do any of that i don't even want my facebook i have it because i have family that i need to keep in contact with that do not live local and i also have friends that are from like school that i keep in contact with you know after graduation and stuff that's the only reason i have facebook otherwise it's like yeah. oh also my online store is on facebook so i will not just say that's the only reason my online store which i have created uh in the last a couple of years uh, that's been growing not it hasn't grown this year obviously it's been it's been the opposite of growing this year because of COVID um, it's a high risk thing so I had to literally uh, just stop everything in my online store because it's a risk and it's a risk I really don't want to take because I will be taking all the risk and um, I have bad luck I was born Friday the 13th okay I'm not playing with COVID <laughs> Uh, sometimes I'll take a risk, but it'll be a small one. But this, I mean, people are dying and people are my, that are my age are dying. So, um, yeah, 
If I have to freeze my store until this is over, I did that and it's fine. Yeah, it says that uh, I was hearing that COVID's affecting my age generation and elderly generation the most. And I am uh, a millennial, I guess, a late millennial. So a lot of people are dying and I'm like, that sucks. I feel bad for everyone who's, you know, going through that. Um, there's also a new study that just showed that if you catch it once, um, it's not over. Like you can get it again. I was like, oh, before they were saying, you know, if you, it's like chicken pox, you get it once, you don't get it again. But now they're saying as of a couple days ago that that was wrong. I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> So you really have to worry about it. Cause I'm like, what if I've already had it and just didn't know? And like, what if I'm immune to it? Do I just, am I okay? Can I like live normally or? I didn't, you know, I don't know. I have to get tested for it. I, you know, there are some people who have had it and don't know that they've had it. So like, like I said, I've been in the house. So, you know. So they're, you know, the house and then work, like, I don't know. You can go get tested if you feel like it in this city, especially because of our numbers. The testing's free here because the numbers are so bad. So, um, I think I might do that. But then, if, if, if it's true that you can get it again, it doesn't really make sense for me to get tested. Because I could have had it, but I could also get it again. Or maybe if I didn't have it at all. <laughs> I mean, I'd never felt sick this entire time, so. But you know, if you're immune to it, you won't show symptoms. Who freaking knows anymore? All I know is I'm gonna continue doing what I can and follow the rules that they've been giving us to the best of my capabilities. Obviously, no one can do that 100% of the time. Not even me. <laughs> Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I'm 24. And I'm going to be 25 in October. <laughs> Which is why October is always a busy month. Uh, my birthday is a huge bash. It's always a huge bash. This year, I don't know what to do. My friends don't know what to do. My family doesn't know what to do about my birthday. Everyone's looking at me like, uh, it's COVID. We can't really do what we usually do and make it a huge thing. And I'm like, this sucks. <laughs> I'm, I've always been used to my birthday being a huge thing. It's, I was born Friday the 13th, okay? And my birthday's in October. Halloween's my favorite holiday. Yeah, I've had like, I've had costume parties. I've had like, a go away party for me to go to Disney World like it's it's always been a huge celebration so this COVID stuff I don't know I'm I've been obeying the rules this entire time I can't promise that that's gonna be the case in October <laughs> um I don't know I have to see hopefully things open back up and I'm able to at least go to my favorite restaurants or something or maybe like karaoke with a mask on I don't know I don't know. Something has to give because October's coming and I just know. <laughs> October's not allowed to be affected by this. It's not allowed. I will not have it. Um, so yeah. That's my thoughts on all that. But guys, yeah. Seriously, be safe. Wear a mask. Use hand sanitizer. Carry hand sanitizer with you. They have ones you can put in your pocket. In your purse and your backpack whatever like keep some in the car wipe off your steering wheel um, your door handles often you know carry a can of Lysol with you if you need to like I have a can of Lysol in my car hand sanitizer baby wipes gloves mask like you name it so I'm really not concerned um, and I'll be damned, I'm not getting sick for my birthday, so. <laughs> COVID wants me. <laughs> it's going to have to wait till after October. <laughs> so I'm not having it. 
be careful about keeping a can of Lysol in your car. If you're going to do it, put it in your trunk because the trunk is the coolest part of your vehicle. And um, if you're in a hot place, like obviously a baking can of pressurized cleaning material will probably explode and combust. So um, keep it in the trunk. That's what I do. And so far, my can of Lysol has not blown up. If it does, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> Because I guess you guys are probably like, you know, it's the summertime. Why would you keep a can of cleaning product in your car? It's going to bake and blow up, right? You would think so. Put it in your trunk. Trunk is the coolest place. So, yeah. Be safe. Stay home. I know it is hard to stay home. Believe me. Like I said, karaoke queen over here. Uh, but seriously, they're telling you to stay home. It's for a reason. Too many people are not doing what, you know, they're telling us to do. And that's why we're still in this mess. Like, if people would have stayed home initially, I really feel like this wouldn't be a problem anymore. <laughs> Obviously, it would still exist. You know, it's not just going to go away because people stay home. But people places will be allowed to open like restaurants and things like that like in my city specifically we have to get our numbers down and I think it's like under five percent for two weeks straight before we can open anything back up there are too many people in my city who don't abide by the rules so that's never gonna happen so those restaurants and small businesses will continue to suffer because people aren't following the damn rules it's hard, it sucks, you don't want to do it, but think about all the things you get up and do every day that you don't want to do. You get up, you go to work. You know, half of us don't want to go to work majority of the time, but we get up and do it because we, you know, we have to. This is one of those things. You do it because you have to. It's necessary. It's a necessary evil. I cannot stress that enough. It pisses me off when I see people outside with no mask and just, you know, walking around and just not not caring and not thinking this is a big deal like what you do affects everyone else which is bad because i'm in a city where people are extremely selfish and don't care about the well-beings of others very often so that's why this virus is ripping through my city like you wouldn't believe and i'm just like please just halloween's on a saturday this year and i'll be damned <laughs> People need to stay home. Stay home so we can have Halloween, guys. If you can't stay home for any other good purpose I just named, stay home for the holidays you want to share with your friends and family. Stay home for the restaurants you want to go out to, the movie theaters. The Stay home to get your life back to normal. We would all like to just go back to normal. I would. I want to go to the movies, see horror movies with my friends. I want to go, you know, eat at Olive Garden and all the other restaurants I like and go to karaoke places and go to Chinatown and go to my favorite bubble tea places and, you know, just hang out with my friends. It's, it's hard, but I've been inside. It's not impossible to do, you know, we all have you know, Facebook or whatever. We all can video chat, Zoom, whatever the hell you guys use, Skype. Like, you know. So just be thankful we all have video chat so we can still hang out with everybody. Kinda. And if we have games, you know. I'm happy, you know, the gaming industry, the fact that it's online is great for this kind of stuff. Uh, Zoom is similar to Skype, but I guess more modern. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe. I only used it twice so far, and uh, I don't know that much about it. It's like Skype. That's all I can say.
Wait a minute, where are their beds and stuff? A lot of this stuff did not make it to my inventory. Did I put all their stuff in here? I put all their beds. Oh, okay, here we go. You know what? I think I actually want to do full beds in all their rooms. Can I fit a full bed in here? Mm, they don't need desk in their rooms. They just need to lay down and go to sleep. I'm just saying. Little nightstands, you know. Or should I just do twins? If I can put like little stuff. One twin bed, one nightstand, a rug. I want to do a full bed in each room though. Like, they don't have to have all this fancy stuff in their room. We'll see. We shall see. Oh yeah, because they need both sides pretty much open if they... Yeah, that was not gonna work. I do want them to have double beds though. Hmm. Well, that's not happening. Yeah, so if you use Facebook only, it's fine. Um, yeah, so they'll be fine, you know? Everybody will be fine. Just, you know, Skype your friends, Facebook, call them, regular call them, text people, stay in contact, you know, check in on people you haven't checked in, in on in a while. Bleh. Just so, you know, if you're just dropping in to say hi, that's cool too. Okay, so should we do all girls on the first floor and then boys on the second, or a mixture? Alright, yeah, so. Let's do Damon's room first. Yeah, we're gonna do Damon's room first. So Damon's room will be here. Stefan's room will be next to his because they're brothers so I think that's and Stefan gets sad if he's not near Damon for too long so their rooms are right or maybe I should put them right across from each other because you come up the stairs and then there's a room right here no their rooms are right next to each other I think that's good yeah seriously Stefan will get moody like he will like start Weird. Uh, all right, so that's gonna be Stefan's room. Oh, that's not nice. I'm sorry, girls treat you that way. Matt. Alright, where do I want Matt to be? Matt can be... Hmm. I guess Matt can be up top, I guess. Right? Yeah, I think Matt's gonna be in that room. Okay. Matt's gonna be in that room. And Tyler is gonna be in this room. Moving on to the ladies. All right. Katerina, Elena, Bonnie, Caroline.
Bonnie needs to be on the first floor. That's like important for her to be here. Elena. Where should I put Caroline? Right there. And Caroline would be. Okay, and then Elena. Elena should be on this floor. She just should be. Elena. Alright, and Katerina. Katerina's obviously gonna go in the farthest corner ever upstairs. <laughs> She's such a horrible person. Alright. Katerina. Oh. Yeah, okay. She's gonna be here. I'm gonna switch that. I'm definitely gonna switch that. Alright. Tyler can be there. Matt's going to be here. Bonnie or Caroline? I feel like I kind of want them. I want all three of them on this floor. But okay. Caroline, Bonnie. I kind of want Caroline in this room right here. Alright, Bonnie, you're going upstairs. Bonnie is going to hang out right here. And this was for Tyler? Okay. Yep. And then Matt's gonna be there. Alright. At least I know which rooms are gonna be which now. Which makes a huge difference. Yeah. They're not gonna have desk in their rooms. That's just not gonna be a thing. I need to get that out of the way. So I can put Stefan's bed in here. Stefan Salvatore. Hey Sniper, how have you been? Thanks for joining me here. Hi 
I've been okay. How have you been? That's great. I'm glad you've been doing good. Um, I've been okay. You know, just, just, uh, you know, just hanging in. Just hanging in there. You know, the usual, right? I kind of want to set this over here. Alright, here we go. Alright, so Alright, everyone gets a bed and a dresser. And a picture in the room. Yeah, I'm just hanging in there. I'm building a house that may or may not actually work in real life. <laughs> that's, that's the debate at the moment, whether this will actually work or not. Where's Caroline's room again? I'm forgetting. I just made their rooms and I don't even know where their rooms are supposed to be. I think Caroline's room is this one. Or is it not? Did I actually make Caroline's room this room? Someone please tell me. Oh, you know what? This is not even her bed. This is Elena's bed. And Elena... I don't really want Elena in this room, honestly. So I might make her... Uh, put her back out here. This is Caroline's bed. Caroline needs this room. This is just her. Like, this just screams her. Elena can take several seats and be in this room but it's just so damn appealing all right all right so they're that way obviously i don't want elena's room to be here uh yeah i needed to move caroline's room around as well which is fine because it's okay Everything's gonna be okay. Okay, I can put that there for reasons unknown. Yeah, that doesn't need to be there. But okay. Alright, Care Bear, there you go. Sally Soccer is going to be obviously in Matt's room, which I swear to God I don't remember. Oh, Matt's room is this one, right? Yep. Matt's room is this one. So, yeah, he's active, he's an athlete, he's like a jock, so he gets that poster. Magic is Bonnie's thing. Bon Bon. Bonnie's room is this way, so she gets the magic poster. Cause she's a witch. Makes sense, doesn't it? Alright, this poster. Who likes music? 
Um, actually, no one. None of them. None of them are really into music, so I can just get out of here. Um, what is this? Pictures on the wall. Yep, that's, yeah, that seems, seems like Caroline. Yep, nail polish, all that. Yep, that's Caroline. That's Caroline for sure. There you go. She also likes clothes, so. Just seems like a place to put that. Alright. Anyways. What were we doing? <laughs> oh, a uh, desk and nail polish. I wouldn't want anyone to have their own desk with a computer in their room. I don't think that's fair. I want to make that like a common room thing. So that can go not in the living room because I don't think I have room. This is a really tight living room. I have to take away from this bathroom because this living room is suffering. Um, I can make that the desk area. I can make that this area. So this right here. This. Ladies perfume. Like that. Those little touches and things are important. Um, but everything else on here gets gone. Um, now I have to center it. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, then there's a bathroom there. That's fine. I guess that's fine. Yeah, so they can like use a computer if they want to downstairs, but no one's gonna have their own personal computer. Not if I can help it. I think I am following you on Twitch. Um, I think. I don't actually know. But I think. Orchid, you not thought. What? <laughs> Some of the names of the stuff is kind of crazy. Alright, you know what? Hold on. That picture. Oh, that's okay, I guess. Piano playing. I don't think it's necessary. Got like old pictures. I don't feel like. Yeah, I kind of feel like that fits it much better. Pilot chess table. What in the world? Shoe rack. Caroline. Definitely Caroline. Hold on. I think I can put that under that. Just have to move it up higher. She definitely. Should I make little closets in this room? Alright, so can I put this under that? I can. Yeah, oh, oh. That's why. So can I bring that down? No, okay. I have to make it that high. That's fine. Yep, because she's all about yep, shoes and makeup, fashion. Yeah, that's yeah. Absolutely. I'm just trying to like place the things you know that I have in the inventory out so that I can begin other things in the house like floors and walls and stuff fashion shoe poster okay she's got a lot of stuff in here <laughs> but it's cozy you know it's it's necessary it's cozy uh -oh. start 
start the glitch out. No, please don't. Sometimes it does this thing where inspirational desk. I don't think we need that. All right. What else don't we need? Antique cabinet posters. Who wants those? This seems like something Bonnie would be interested in. All right, Bon Bon, let's do it. It just seems like her cup of tea, honestly. Dramatic cooking poster. I mean, there's not really anyone that likes to cook, so. I mean, Stefan likes to cook. Hold on. Go back. Stefan's room is pretty bare. Yeah, he's gonna get that cooking poster. But Stefan does like to cook, so. That's great. That's great. You should. I need to stream more as well. I really need to get on get on the ball here. It's just now that I started work full time again, I forgot how exhausting exhausting my job is. <laughs> um So like yeah. <laughs> just like yeah. I gotta like get myself together, you know? Room for a funeral. I'm just making up Elena's room right now. Cause she needs some stuff. A backpack. Oh, nice. Okay. She can have herself a little backpack for when she wants to run away. Guitar. She does not play guitar. Um. She can have a mirror. I guess. Why not, right? So yeah, it's just kind of dropping some things in there just to see She writes a lot, so... Alright. Mm. She does not do music. Wait, can someone play guitar? I don't remember. I don't think any of them can play guitar. They're gonna have it though, but... One of those things I'm just gonna leave in the common area. So I did put the little violin there, so they can have guitar too. I can sit, read, play instruments. This is coming together. Alright. I need to do some more stuff with the boys' rooms. They're looking kind of plain. Yeah, I quit coffee. I like really wanted to like not Yeah. Bonnie. Um Coffee's cool, don't get me wrong, coffee's awesome. I love me some coffee. I did not fully quit. I quit like ninety percent. So like I only have a coffee every now and again. Like I had a coffee a couple weeks ago from Starbucks. It was like, it was so great. <laughs> it was so great. I'm telling you, man, it was, oh, it was great. It was super great. Mega great. The greatest, if you must. Caroline is going to have a backpack. Well, no, give us 11 boys. It should be Tyler. Tyler's going to have the backpack. Okay. 
computer. Oh, power for PC. Oh my gosh. That's horrible. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Oh my gosh. That's awful. That is... That's terrifying. Wow. I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> that's, um... Wow, I really, I have no idea what to say to that. Jeez, some coffee, a cup of coffee. That's a... Uh, that's pretty bad. That's as pretty much that's as bad as it gets. I need to play workout equipment up here. So obviously they still need to work out. Not exactly. The fittest sims. <laughs> Just putting that out there. Oh yeah, I'm gonna drain coop. Sorry if you guys hear my phone. People are People are really. I'm in a group chat on Facebook Messenger, so most of the time those messages are not even for me, which is why I've been ignoring them. They're just comments overall for the group. Yeah. So. guys I'm hoping that these rooms end up being great <laughs> just great I just want them to be great and nothing more they're gonna be happy I know they're gonna be happy See, I, I actually care about what my sims feel such a nice creator aren't I Either that or I've just spent way too much time at home and I need to get a life again. <laughs> Definitely could be that. Totally could be that. It might actually be that. <laughs> um, I am seeing some inconsistency here and I don't like it. Everybody needs a dresser. I feel that that's extremely important. Everyone needs to be able to express themselves via dresser. <laughs> they don't have to have the best dressers. Jeez. $900. Hold on. Hold on. 
one second. Hold on. What? Hold on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Something went wrong here. Oh, be oh, okay. Never mind. Unmentional distress. Why is this one nine hundred dollars? It's the same damn dresser. Hers has stuff on it, and hers does as well, but I just want to make sure this is all the same dresser. Oh. That's weird. I mean, I do want them to have the best, but I don't want to be broke as well. Oh, decisions, decisions. <laughs> it's these tough decisions that we have, you know? I do, I do want them to have the best. I really do, but man, <laughs> the best is a uh, best is pricey. <laughs> okay, at least they got their workout stuff. At least they can work out. I think we're finally ready to, for one, put in some bathroom sinks. That'd be nice. Oh boy. We can pretty much sell these. We don't need these vintage counters. Wait, let's start putting in the lighting. That's really important. The lighting I like best in the rooms was this lighting. Let's start, let's start with that. Alright. And I still want to do that lighting. In that room as well. Lighting that's already in here is alright, but... Now let's be honest, my lighting is better. Super nice, but I like this better. They get the best. I want it nice and bright. Gotta keep an eye on them. True, we have to keep an eye on them. Man, let me tell you. But it's gonna be lit. <laughs> oh man, I need to seriously. Oh no, don't worry. They're gonna be, they're gonna be auto lights. So that electric bill not gonna be horrible. You know. I got this. Believe in me. You have to, you have to believe. <laughs> believe that they will pay for this electric bill because they will. <laughs> They gonna be paying, so it's fine. It's all fine. Um, to the downstairs light too. Oh, move! Get out the way. Um, do you ask what to do? All right. So we did that. Do we need one outside too? Maybe. Well, why the hell not, you know? 
All right, so I've proved my point. I like lights. Um, don't worry, I'm getting rid of the other ones. The ones I didn't really want there in the first place. The ones I thought I wanted, and then turns out I actually didn't want them. Where's the lights in the kitchen? Oh, what the hell? Did I not put one in the kitchen? Might not have. Yep, I didn't put one in the kitchen. No! Need this light to go away. This light to be the main focus of the kitchen. Alright, so now that we have the appropriate lighting. <laughs> Oof, that is bright. That's because the walls are white. Your what? Your electric bill was five hundred dollars. Do you have energy saving light bulbs? That's my first question. That is wow. I don't even know what to say to that. It's crazy. Let's throw that at you. Thanks for that object. What object? Oh, there's another one in there. That's why. So what happens if I take this one out? It's fine. Okay. Don't think I had too much lighting going on. Anyways. Alright. Mm -hmm. That's me. Yeah, you need some energy saving light bulbs. That's, that's your problem right there. Get some energy saving light bulbs, man. Because that's... That's awful. <laughs> that's um that's insane. I couldn't imagine it. I would like fall to the ground if I received a bill like that. I hate this bathtub. And they're not gonna have this bathtub. Because I'm not having it. I know where this can go. Music's gonna go on the third floor because they need music while they work out. nice. I get to still have some money after this thing is done, because, oof, your bill might be very low. I use energy saving light bulbs, and my bill is uh, pretty okay. My bill is like ridiculously low. <laughs> Compared to the 500, hell, it makes me appreciate my bill. <laughs> I mean, eventually I will be getting my tiny house, and I will be doing solar completely, so I will have no electric bill. It will be zero dollars. But I have to save up more money, because that's so expensive. The highest electric bill I ever received in my life was like one hundred dollars, and it was like it was outrageous, and it was because like someone came to my house and like scammed me into signing on with a new electric company, and they like jacked my rate up like three times the amount. Like you know those people who knock on door by door, and they're like, oh, I'm with Pico, and you know, like you're actually paying too much, and blah blah blah. Like yeah, I believe them. I gave them like my Pico paperwork, and they were like, okay, you know. And like the next month, my shit was like three times as much as it ever was. I was like, oh no, no. I called like the electric company and I was like, what the hell's going on? And they're like, 
I'm like, you guys came to my door and made me switch this and told me that it would be cheaper. And they're like, we never came to your door. And I'm like, what? They said they were with your company. And they're like, well, did they have ID? I'm like, I didn't ask for it. They had binders and layers and stuff. I, they, they looked official. <laughs> so, yeah. Just watch out for people like that. Because they will sign you on to like, a new electric plan. And it will like, it will screw up everything. So, I had to pay the hundred bucks. But I did switch back to Pico immediately. And resolve that problem. And put in a, a formal complaint to that other company for tricking me. Uh, yeah, apartment, until I'm able to buy my tiny house. Yeah, I was like, but that was the highest electric bill I ever gotten, was like a hundred bucks. Usually, my electric bill was like 20 something dollars, 30. But I also, it's because I work like a lot during the day, so when I'm not home, like no one's home, it, it was just me, so. Also, fun fact, if you unplug everything you're not using, except for the you know, essential stuff that needs to be plugged in, like your refrigerator and your stove, uh, you can save a lot of money that way. Like, if you're going to leave the house, unplug your TV, unplug your game system, unplug your lamp, or whatever you're not using and you're leaving the house for the day, unplug it. Because it will, it's something called ghost power. It actually does affect your electric bill, even if it's off. Um, it's still consuming power from the wall. So, ghost power is a thing, and if you unplug, you're a you will save a lot. <laughs> it's annoying because you have to like play everything back in when you get home, but that one extra step saves you so much money. So I'd rather be annoyed. So confused, what in the world? Oh. Why is it like that? Whoa. It's not normal. <laughs> um, that's that's not normal. I don't know what the hell is going on there. Obviously, the world has lost its ever world and mine. Um. Oh, can I make that? You can. I'm a little weird, but I don't care. It's gonna be weird then. Yep, I really should be a professor or a teacher. I know so many ridiculous little facts that make life easier. That I share with people on a daily basis. I really should be a teacher. And these are like little life hacks. Maybe I'll do a YouTube video of life hacks that I use and then show you guys some things that might help you guys out. Um, that's something that I've been told in the past people wanted to see from me. I just haven't had the time to get together everything. And I had to figure out how to do it. Like I can't just show you guys my entire electric bill <laughs> that would be weird um my name my address and stuff is on it so what i'll do is i'll take a sharpie and i'll just scribble out any information i feel should not be on the youtube video and show you guys hey look this can be this and you know what i do and show you guys you know go around to show you guys um how i unplug things and so on and so forth and then just leave <laughs> you know just just simple stuff those simple little things will go a long way, believe me. It's like, it's amazing.
So far, so good. This is coming along pretty nicely. I'm actually pretty happy with how this is coming along. Alpine piece. I know where that goes. The alpha himself. The werewolf of all werewolves. The one who has a temper like you couldn't believe. Tyler Lockwood. Alright. Mm -hmm. Who wants a shoji screen? You get a shoji screen and you get a shoji screen. I feel like that's more of a... I feel like guys really don't care about that. But I think I might just put it in their rooms just because. Maybe not. You know what? No, we're not going to do that. Uh, this mirror? Catherine's already got a mirror. Elena's got one. Caroline has no more room in her room for anything. Or does she? She actually can put this mirror in here. <laughs> alright, alright, fine. She gets a mirror. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I enjoy doing this stuff so much. Um, hmm. Who wants a plant? Anybody want a plant? Didn't at one point, yeah, Tyler, yeah, Tyler did like the the whole he did like like nature and stuff like that at one point. All right, now as far as food is concerned, there's like stuff that they really need to sit down and eat. When I sold the other house, I took all the stuff that was in it with me and that was some food stuff. So yeah, they're gonna have to eat when they first get in here. But I'm not letting that stuff go to waste. All right, okay. Uh, rug, as far as rugs are concerned, uh, sure, you can have this rug. Why not? I do want to replace the fireplace. I have another one of these? I do. Uh, and then we'll go in Katerina's room. Things are coming together, guys. Things are coming together. Thanks for sticking with me. what I'm going to do with those just yet. Now the bookcases are interesting. I do have... Is this the same bookcase? It sure is. Okay. Meaning I can sell mine. And keep that. Okay. So that little thing is nice, but we're gonna go with something else. Okay. That's weird. Alright, but that's fine. It's cute. Nice little hostess station. That's cute. But we got other plans. 
I have to be on the table. In fact, this, which can be here, and this, which can also be here, we have something much nicer than that fireplace in my inventory. Uh, it's, shoot, four players? It's been a while since I played. Yeah, it's four, four, four players? This is four, I think. Yeah, I'll look it up. Um, I believe it is four players. It's me and my- yeah, me, because it was me, Soul, Tommy, and Millie who used to play. So yeah, it was the four of us. Or five, maybe? No, I think it was four. God, it's been so long since I played it. There's some new stuff that just came out for it, but I heard it was like, you have to like buy uh, someone explained it to me, but I don't think they explained it right. They said you have to buy it again? Like, it's not just an add-on. You have to buy the whole thing again or something. It was like 15 bucks or something. At the time, I was like, I'm not making that investment at the moment. <laughs> we didn't. This is like at the time where COVID had like just started. And we didn't even know like what was going on. So, at the time, I was like, eh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be smart with my money a little bit. Let's just kind of hang tight and see what happens, you know? They have to have the best of the best of the best. Is there a reason I can't put this anywhere? There has to be, right? What's in the room? Nothing specific that's blocking this. Oh well. Um. Hmm. Power consumption 10. God damn. It's unnecessary. Um, yeah, let me just make sure everybody still has it downloaded. We've been struggling with space, so. Some of my friends downloaded, deleted some of the games, but it's still in your library, so you can get it back. Let me just, uh, yeah, let me check in with them to see if they still have it. That would actually be pretty cool to redo that again. Because that game was, it was pretty great, not gonna lie, it was great. Was. It was a grand adventure. That much I will say. The Salvatore Brothers. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Hold on. Kind of feel like I can put that above the door. Can I? thought it was a good idea and turns out it actually was a good idea. <laughs> I have two nightstands for reasons unknown. I forgot why I had them in the other house. I guess not. We're just gonna sell these then. Because I don't need them. If you don't need them, sell them. <laughs> Barely cushy tushy chair. What the heck was that even to? I don't even know. Who even knows why these things are? Alright, so we gotta figure out what we're doing about these sinks. First of all, let's figure out what we're doing about this bathroom. Actually, oops. Who are these flowers? Can you let them look over there? They can, but they're kind of. I don't want them there either. Uh, not 
in here. Mm -hmm. Place for these flowers, that would be nice. Bathroom, maybe? Yeah, we'll sell them. Okay, that's nice. They can, they're allowed to have one tub. I'll leave them one tub. So at least they have the option to have a bath if they want to. Yeah, that's like pretty much the same sink. Alright, so the sink that we have. It's gonna be the sink. I don't have any other sinks, right? One favor. I just want to see something. Okay. Cloud space thing. Uh. Okay. That's more Bonnie. She's got a collection going, doesn't she? Something moonscape. Hold on. That's more like a Stefan type thing. He's always going down memory lane about some place he visited. So this thing can pretty much go to Matt's room. chess which I don't know where the hell I'm gonna put this <laughs> I don't know um hmm I could bump the bathroom a little closer I think that's all I'm gonna do well, you know what they can play chess on the porch how about that we have a little porch right here. Oh, no there's not. There is, kind of. There can be. I could just bump this out. This part right here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Somebody's gonna play porch. I was gonna play chess. <laughs> yep, somebody's gonna play porch. That's, that's what we're doing here. Someone's gonna play porch. I remove this wall. Remove wall, I guess. There you go. Yep, they're gonna play chess right on the porch. Cause that's 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 why we do it. That's why we do it. I kinda wanna push the face. I could push this out more. Just so they have like a genuine play on. Yikes. How's that gonna look? Is that gonna be okay? I think it's odd. I don't know what the hell I did, but it's odd. It's not normal. It's odd. Interesting. You know what? Change my mind. Not about that. That's fine. I think I might keep that that way, actually. I can put some chairs out there. 
As far as this, this bathroom is ridiculous. I honestly, what the hell? So you can't use the, what? I don't, I don't understand what just happened there. This tub takes up so much room, it's ridiculous. I can't move it a step up. There's a cabinet there, I didn't see that. Okay. Alright, I can do what needs to be done now. Kind of. When do they ever do laundry? <laughs> Got a laundry hamper in here like they do some laundry. I mean, I would like to. If they could do laundry, that'd be kind of neat. I think it's probably like an add-on. Like, you can get like the washing machine and dryer and stuff like that. Can I scoot? Yeah, I can. Scoot this over a little bit. Maybe I can bring this forward more? Okay. Now what? Oh, it's a little toilet paper thingy. Alright, we're gonna get rid of... It's okay, it's alright. It's gonna be fine, everything is gonna be okay. This is what we wanted. This is fine. It's all good. We're all right. Can we access the sink or is the toilet too close? It says it can be there, but I don't know how much I trust that. And the toilet paper thing you can't even see. I love it. Make them reach all the way over there for toilet paper. Alright. Anyways, I did all that just to put the chessboard here. Oops. And some chairs. That's why I did that bump in. Anyways, guys, I need to cut this video. I mean, yeah. You should build a house like real people live in it. I feel like if you're gonna do something, don't half-ass do it. Do it like you would live there. I would be honored to live in the house I'm building now. That'd be cool. If I can grab seven of my closest friends and we can all just live in this house that I'm building, I would do it. I would do it in a heartbeat. Because I'm building it so that it can actually be lived in. That's the whole purpose. So they can live happy lives. I do care if they're happy. You should treat your sims kindly. That's very important. I don't want this coffee table anymore. Um, what? Not fine, key. I don't think Catherine has anything on her wall. She does not, but that's okay. She'll have plenty of time. I'll give her plenty, plenty of time. This 
it's, it's, it's shaping up to be something interesting. Yeah. Catherine's like, Catherine's like more older Romanian kind of illusion shades. Hold on, I got rid of my antique milk jugs downstairs? I really like that thing. No way. That has to be here. It's like a, it's a thing that has to be here. I have two of them as well, so I'm putting one on each side. Can you enter? I want it to be. Oh, the damn coat rack is in the way. I'll put it next to the fireplace. That's it. That's what I can do. Oh my god, don't block me. Freaking damn doorway. Damn it. Alright, they don't even wear coats or take them off when they come home, so you don't really need this. You know? It doesn't have to be here. Just saying. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. I got a better idea. Alright. We're gonna do our grand entry. Grand entryway with this. Okay. And then this can sit next to the fireplace. Because that's a fire hazard. And that's okay. Fair enough. Also, I hate this. Oh. This is kind of creepy. I have another bust in my inventory. But is it less creepy than that one? I have no freaking idea. Is it the same damn one? It is. So. stuff. I almost forgot about that stuff. The Sims is great. It's actually won, uh, The Sims won an award for being a very good game for people who have anxiety. Me personally, I have anxiety. Um, so when I found that out, I was like, you know what, playing this game really does like calm my nerves. I'm having a stressful day or I feel tense in any way, shape, or form. Um, you know, it's definitely been a helpful tool. So I can vouch for that. It's really mellow. I'm not gonna lie. It's really mellow. It's a nice, it's just overall a nice experience. What the hell? Can I not put that on the, nope, okay. Damn it, I was gonna put that in that corner. This dining room is different than my other one. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. We're definitely gonna say the hell with this plant because it's not necessary. But I like this to be there much more. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just look how nice and aesthetically pleasing all this is going to be. I can also sell... I can sell this. The ice box. I can also sell... This, because we already have that. Alright, we already have what we need to make that bathroom functional. This bathroom is going to also be functional. And the one upstairs... Oh no, I'm sorry. Oh, 
Oh, that's just looking like, where the hell is it? <laughs> it's also gonna be functional. All right, so obviously we have to work on the bathroom upstairs. Uh, shoot. That door needs to move. That mirror's in the way. Let's move it there for now. So we can move the door out of the damn way. Was on the other side of this. Interesting. Nothing. Okay. Oh, <laughs> obviously, this is a problem. For now, we'll put it here. So we can use this. Reposition it. There we go. All right. Something like that. Anyways. Guys, this is a long video. I need to, like, do something about it. Um, sell that. Don't think I need that. And I definitely don't need those. We're getting somewhere, okay? <laughs> we're, we're getting somewhere. Yeah, I need to... You're right, I do need a break. Um, I'd like to get some water. <laughs> That'd be nice. Uh, I need to figure out how to make this living room not like this. Um, but yeah, you're right. I'm gonna cut and take a tiny break. So please bear with me and not hate me because I'd like to get some water. So <laughs> we need water to survive after all. You guys don't want me dying on you, do you? That would suck. Like, I had a lot of plans today. I mean, I didn't have many plans today, but one of my plans was not to die today. So with that all being said, I think it's coming along nicely. I'm super proud of myself. I would I would live here. That roof line. <laughs> oh, the roof line gets me every time. Wait till I start doing the pool and the backyard and stuff. That'll be really nice. Oops. <laughs> you would just leave the stream if I died. That's unfortunate. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I do want it. Ah, uh, uh, shit! I wish the living room was a little bit bigger. I'm not gonna lie. But it's okay. I'm okay with this. Can I? I can. But that would mean I'd have to do. Eh, that's that's a bit much. It's overkill unnecessary when do when are they all eight ever in the living room at the same time not often enough at least so we got we got five we got seating for five which i think is all right i think that's okay yeah i think that's okay i hope it's okay
Okay, let me spare these little lights. Electric bill really will be crazy. Oops. Yeah, you know, if you die, I'm gonna leave the stream. That's, yeah, that's that's real love. That's, yeah. <laughs> totally, totally feel the love. Totally. Feel it. It's horrible. It's so horrible. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm gonna take a break. Um, I'll be back. Uh, what time is it? <laughs> it is six. What? No, it's not. It's seven thirty-nine my time. Again, I'm in Pennsylvania, so yeah. With that all being said, thank you guys so much. I will be back here in it's seven forty. I'll be back in five minutes. Give me until seven forty-five, and I will start a new video. I'm gonna get water and I'm gonna use the restroom and I'm gonna check my messages on my phone from this group chat. <laughs> Give me five minutes. Alrighty, I will take a quick break and I will see you all in five minutes. Thanks so much guys. I love you all and thanks for all the love and support you've ever shown my channel. And invite your friends, invite your family, invite anyone if you want them to see how great this house is going to be. Because <laughs> it's going to be great. <laughs> Thanks guys. Take care.